Welcome to my tech channel folks. Today I'm talking to you about bismuth and using bismuth to make an anti-gravity uh, magnetic levitation device. I'm melting it here. It's got a low melting point of 271 degrees. It can be easily mounted on a stove top. It's got an atomic weight of 208 and an atomic number of 83. I made aluminum foil molds here. You can see that. Um, I'm pouring the bismuth into the molds. I'm going to make one cylinder of bismuth larger than the other. I've put a piece of 12 gauge copper wire into the bismuth so that the two pieces can then be adjusted in terms of their distance with respect to each other. Bismuth is about 80%, 86% as dense as lead. <coughs> Here you can see it's setting, it sets pretty fast actually. And then when it's cooled off, you need to then um, just peel off the um, aluminum, which is what I'm doing right cool now. now. Just about Don't to peel it off. The, uh, foil off. Comes off pretty well, it separates easily from the metal. There's a little bit of residual aluminum here. I'm just going to take that last bit off. And then I'm going to bend the wire and adjust the distance between the two slugs of bismuth. I'm putting the larger one on the bottom to counteract gravity's downward effect. And then there's a, a neomagnet at the top, and I've adjusted the height to just cancel out the effect of gravity on the cube neobium. And then the diamagnetism of the two pieces of bismuth prevents the uh, cube from flipping and shooting upwards and sticking on the magnet if you just get it right. And it takes a bit of playing around. I was kind of lucky here and got the distance right off the outset. You can increase the distance between the two cubes of bismuth and you can also use other magnets. Here is a ceramic magnet which also works but I found that neomagnet works the best for um, the top magnet. The thing will stay suspended indefinitely, and the great thing about this setup is that it doesn't need any electrical power. I've seen other, you know, devices on the market, and those, you know, need uh, like an electromagnetic circuit and a Hall effect sensor to adjust it. This one needs just about nothing, just the pieces of bismuth and your neomagnet a bolt or nail, piece of wire, some wood. What I did actually is I drilled a, a hole in the bottom piece of this wood framework to seat the lower piece of bismuth in it. And then the upper piece of bismuth is held in place with that copper wire. One of the things I found a little bit difficult with this particular setup is that the wire is a bit springy and the two pieces of bismuth will bounce around a bit and then destabilize the levitation. Anyway, here I've got them where they're totally not moving and the cube is just amazing. It's just hovering there like as if it was in, in space without any gravitational effect whatsoever. And you can see how I've use, I'm using like a long bolt to adjust the height of the neomagnet. And you can, uh, you know, you could probably separate those two pieces of bismuth further to get an even more dramatic effect. This is my first attempt, so I haven't really played around with the distance too much. One of the things about the hovering neomagnet is that you can induce, like, a, you can hit it with a piece of plastic like that and get it turning in a circular motion. And it will go for quite a long time. The only thing that's going to slow it down is the poles of the earth having some weak effect on it and air resistance. But you can get that going even longer, I think, if you have like a, a circular magnet or a spherical magnet. And I've tried those also, and they worked, they, they suspended just as well as this cube magnet. I'm going to go again, try and get it going a little faster this time.
I didn't want to knock it out of the gap, and that's why I'm being so careful. So, uh, there you go. First successful magnetic levitation. Um, you probably saw my other video, or if you, if you didn't, take a look at it using a... It's, um, it's a levitation, a rotating magnet. I think they call it a levitron, and that was not very successful. But anyway, thanks for watching, folks.